Today in Philadelphia, Donald Trump put some more meat on the bones of his campaign as he made what was billed as a major speech on military preparedness. Here's a little of what he said. In 2010, the United States spent $554 billion on non-war base defense spending. In the year, and I have to say, currently, we're spending $548 billion, a cut of 10 percent, and that number is going down very rapidly looking into the future, unless I become your president. This reduction was done through what is known as sequester, which you've all heard about, or automatic defense budget cuts. Under the budget agreement, defense took half of the cuts, even though it makes up only one-sixth of the budget, so they put it all in defense. As soon as I take office, I will ask Congress to fully eliminate the defense sequester and will submit a new budget to rebuild our military. It is so depleted. We will rebuild our military. We will build an active army of around 540,000. As the Army's chief of staff has said, he needs desperately and really must have to protect our country. We now... We now have only 31 brigade combat teams, or 490,000 troops, and only one-third of combat teams are considered combat ready. That's not good for our country. Here to discuss military preparedness and the Trump plan for it is an authority on the subject, retired Army General Bob Scales, author of a new book called Scales on War, The Future of America's Military at Risk. Bob, hi. Good to hi, see you. Hi, Britt. Good to be here. Um, first of all, give me the, if you can, the sense of what your book is getting at. Yeah, my book is all about three numbers, Britt. 81, 4, and 1. In wars fought since the end of World War II, a period we call the American era of war, 81% of those who died at the hands of the enemy are made up of less than 4% of the total uniform people in DOD, and they receive less than 1% of the budget. And these are close combat soldiers, infantrymen, not soldiers and Marines, infantrymen. And so, and oh, by the way, most of our enemies have been infantrymen. And the enemy knows, because they have a vote, that the surest way to end a war against the United States is strike our vulnerable center of gravity, which is dead Americans. And so what I ask in the book very simply is this. If our close combat soldiers and Marines are, 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 are most vulnerable, why don't we do more to protect those who are most likely to die? Let's just look for a moment here, uh, Bob, at the Trump proposal. Just some of the specifics yeah. of an active army, 540,000, as you heard him say, Marine Corps based on 36 battalions, uh, Navy approaching 350 surface ships and submarines, Air Force of at least 1,200 fighter aircraft. Are those the kinds of, is that the kind of thing we need to do, or is that uh, emphasis in the wrong places? It goes a long way to fixing the problem. You cannot defend the nation in our future wars. You can't even defeat ISIS with a ground combat force, soldiers and marines and soft, that small. And an increase... What is it, by the way, we, we, he wants to go to 540. What are we now? About, about well, 480, we're 490 something. going down to 450, and the Marines are at 24 combat battalions. He wants to raise it to 36. Right. Yeah. In addition, I think he's going to increase special operating forces, who, of course, are, are, are elite fighting forces. All that's good. My only quibble with this idea is he hasn't talked about modernizing these forces. I mean, if we continue as we are now, my grandson will be commanding a battalion of Reagan-era tanks. So it's not just enough to increase numbers. We have to increase the quality of the force, and I'll guarantee you, our, our, the Russians and the Chinese are, 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 are rapidly at work doing that very same thing. Now, um, all this is going to cost a lot of money yes. to do this. I mean. And, and the additional things that you think are needed. Does, do the things that he has described strike you, uh, the, the policies he described, is likely to finance that? Boy, that's a good question. And, and what he suggests doing is cutting the federal bureaucracy to include the military bureaucracy. The question is, is this 40, 50 billion additional dollars, uh, can you get that? Can you, can you squeeze the orange that much to get that much juice out of it? I'm not sure about that, but I am sure that you cannot defend this nation on 2.5% uh, of our GDP devoted to fighting our wars. You can't do it. 
It would seem, General, that one thing we do need is a robust economy. It all starts with that, doesn't it? it because does. if you increase uh, the proportion of the budget to 3%, you grow the economy at 4.5% a year, we're going to make those numbers easily. If we don't, we're in trouble. Bob Scales, great to see you. Thank Thanks you for Greg. being here.